warning to the United Nations. Mess with Jerusalem at your peril. In the 6th century BCE, at Jerusalem, the prophet Zechariah foresaw how, in the end times, the United Nations would seek to internationalize the city, thereby provoking Yahweh to intervene. For more than 1800 years, it was not possible to fulfill these predictions, because Israel was no more. However, since 1948, these predictions have begun to be fulfilled, making the remaining ones likely to be fulfilled sometime soon. Zechariah lays out his predictions in 14 points about a coming day of invasion, of divine judgment, and of salvation. The word of the Lord concerning Israel, Jerusalem, the peoples all around, and Judah. 1. The United Nations will conspire with neighboring peoples to besiege Jerusalem. When all the nations of the earth gather against her, I will make Jerusalem a stone for all the peoples to lift, all who lift to challenge themselves. 2. The national government will come to the aid of Jerusalem as a divine task. The clans of Judah will say to themselves, The dwellers of Jerusalem are a task set for us by their God, the Lord of hosts. 3. The Lord will give victory to them over their assailants. They shall devour all the besieging peoples, right and left, and Jerusalem shall continue on its site, in Jerusalem. 4. The inhabitants of Jerusalem will prove valiant. The feeblest of them shall be, in that day, like David, and the house of David like a divine being. 5. The inhabitants of Jerusalem will regret the death of their enemies. I will all but annihilate all the nations that came up against Jerusalem. They shall lament to me about those who are slain. 6. The inhabitants of Jerusalem will be filled with remorse. The land shall wail, each family by itself. 7. The inhabitants of Jerusalem will repent of their eastern religions. A fountain shall be opened to the house of David, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, for purging and cleansing. I will erase the very names of the idols from the land. 8. All of their false prophets will be silenced. Every prophet will be ashamed of the visions he had, when he prophesied. Two-thirds will perish in a coming invasion, whilst the remaining third affirm their faith in the Lord. Two-thirds shall perish, shall die, and one-third of it shall survive. They will invoke me by name, and I will respond to them. 9. United Nations sanctioned armies will capture Jerusalem, but the Lord will defeat them. I will gather all the nations to Jerusalem for war, the city shall be captured. Then the Lord will come forth and make war on those nations. 10. The Lord will descend onto the Mount of Olives, accompanied by an army of holy angels. He will set his feet on the Mount of Olives, near Jerusalem. The Lord my God, with all the holy beings, will come to you. 11. This will prove a unique day of extended daylight. There shall be a continuous day, and there shall be light at even tide. 
12. The invaders will die suddenly, and Jerusalem will never again be invaded. Peace at last. Never again shall destruction be decreed, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. As for those peoples that warred against Jerusalem, the Lord will smite them. 13. The surrounding nations will pay reparations, and Jerusalem will become a center of pilgrimage for all nations. The wealth of all the nations round about shall be gathered in. All who survive of all those nations that came up against Jerusalem shall make a pilgrimage year by year to bow low to the King Lord of Hosts. Thenceforth, True religion will be exempt from commercialism. There shall be no more traders in the house of the Lord of Hosts.